Okay, for this question, we're asked to calculate the Coulombic attractive force between a pair of sodium plus and chlorine minus ions that are just touching each other. They, they give us information about how big these ions are. They tell us that the sodium ion is 0 0.095 nanometers, while the chlorine ion is 0 0.181 nanometers. So, to begin on a question like this, since we're asked about the Coulombic attractic force, we should start by remembering what does that attractive force look like. And from physics, you probably saw an equation that looked like this. That the attractive force between ions is equal to Q1 times Q2 over R squared, and this is all multiplied by K. So when we talk about interatomic inter attractive forces, it's going to look very, very similar. We're going to write it instead as this. We're going to write negative Z1 times Z2 multiplied by the charge of these uh, electrons squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by the separation distance squared. So all that we've done is this term right here came from K. We put a negative out in front because we're going to account for both the positive and negative charges on our ions. And then Q is just the charge of the electrons. So let's go ahead, we could go ahead and solve this, but what we need first is to solve for what R is. So let's first start by solving for what R is. We're told that the radius of the sodium ion is equal to 0 0.095 nanometers, whereas the radius of the chlorine ion is equal to 0 0.181 nanometers. And we know that the bond distance, let's call it R naught, that's gonna be equal to the radius of sodium plus the radius of the chlorine because we're told in the problem that it's when the ions just touch one another. Therefore, when we add these together, 0 0.095 plus um, 0 0.181, I find that that's equal to 0 0.276 nanometers. Now we can convert that to meters pretty easily. We just remember that um, we can multiply this by times 10, let's see, to the negative ninth meters per nanometer if we want to make these nanometers cancel out. And that will tell us that we have 2.76 times 10 to the negative 10 meters is our separation distance. So now we know R, this value here, we can plug it in and we can solve for our attractive force. So let's do so. The force attractive is going to be equal to negative. Uh, the first charge of the first ion is positive one. The charge of our second, our anion, second ion, is negative one. These are both times the charge of an electron. The fundamental charge of an electron is 1.609. Let's just put 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. That's squared. Divide this by four times pi times epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is the permittivity, clean this up a little bit, is the permittivity of free space, which is going to be 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. That's units of coulombs per newton meter squared. Right? We multiply this finally by 2.76 times 10 to the negative 10 meters, and we're going to be squaring that. Plugging all those values in, I find that we reach an attractive force of positive 3.02 times 10 to the negative 9th newtons. So that's our attractive force. This question asked us to solve, um, calculate the Coulombic attractive force. So we're done with part A. Now we can go ahead and move on to part B. Part B says, calculate the net potential energy of a simple sodium chloride ion pair by using this following expression, where the net energy is equal to the attractive energy component plus B over R to the N, where N equals nine for sodium chloride. So that second term in the energy expression is what's known as the repulsive energy term. Let's recall a few things. First off, if you have an energy term, E net equals, um, let's just call it EA for a moment, plus B over R to the ninth, 
that was r to the n, but they told us that n equals 9. We can figure out what the forces would be by taking the derivative of this expression. Remember that force equals the derivative with, of energy with respect to interatomic separation, dr. So if we take the derivative of this, we can write that the net force is equal to d, let's just write dEA, dr, and then it'll, this will be, uh, this is going to become, it'll be minus 9, minus 9 times b over r to the 10th. So now we have an expression for our force. So what we can next do is we remember that at equilibrium, when these ions are touching one another, that the net force is equal to zero. At equilibrium, um, F net equals zero, because the ions aren't moving apart or closer together. If there was a net force, they would be moving either closer together or further apart. But since they're at equilibrium, we can set that equal to one another. And we already solved for the force, the attractive force. Therefore, let me change colors. This whole term here, that is simply equal to our attractive force, which we solved for in the first part of this problem. That makes our life easier. Let's go back to green. Therefore, we can write the following. We can write that 0 equals 3.02 times 10 to the negative ninth newtons minus 9 times b over, again, this is our separation distance, 2.76 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. This is raised to the 10th power, right? We can go ahead and bring one of these to the other side and then multiply both sides by 2.76 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. And this will allow us to solve, uh, well, let's just write it out. This lets us write um, that 9b equals, uh, let's see, 3.02 times 10 to the negative 9 newtons. That will be multiplied by 2.76 times 10 to the 10th meters. That's all raised to the 10 power. If we then divide this by 9, we get rid of 9 there, and that's going to be the value for b. So let's go ahead and plug those values in. When I plug those values in, I find that b is equal to, um, let's see, 8.59 times 10 to the negative 106th. 8.59 times 10 to the negative 106th power, and the units are going to be newtons times meters to the 10th. So now we have an expression for B. So let's go back up to what we were originally asked for. They want us to solve for the potential, the net potential energy for using this expression. Well, we know um, what B is now. We know R, we know N. We need to figure out what EA is. Well. We were given Fa, and we know that this relationship exists, that the force is equal to the, der the derivative of energy with respect to the interatomic separation. So now we need to know, now we need to know how to go backwards. We know that Fa equaled negative Z1 times Z2 times the charge, Q squared, multiplied by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. If we take the integral of this with respect, uh, excuse me, so if we take and write that the attractive energy component is equal to the integral of Fa dr, we find that it is equal to positive z1 times z2 times q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times r. We're almost there and ready to solve for the final expression now. The net energy is equal to z1, z2, q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught over r. This will be plus our repulsive energy term, which we now know since we know b. This will be plus 
8.59 times 10 to the negative 106th power Newton times meters to the tenth all divided by um, r to the ninth power plugging values in we find that this is then equal to um, so the two terms are equal to negative 8.34 times 10 to the negative 19th joules plus 0 0.92 times 10 to the negative 19th joules and combining those together we finally find that the net energy is a negative 7.42 times 10 to the negative 19th joules or in other words it's a negative value this means that when these ions come together the net energy change actually goes down and when things go down in energy that's spontaneous and favorable therefore we can assess the depth of the potential well